All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna shoot a video uh, talking about one of the most influential people that was on the planet that uh, started my passion for cars and other people. Um, we're gonna talk about that a little bit here on this channel. And we're going to uh, take a walk out here in the garden. It's off season, so we don't really have a garden right now, but we did have, and uh, I may take one of our coconuts and uh, split it open to get some coconut milk and some raw coconut. This was the whole garden out here. Of course, season's over with, but this was, right here was all the onions. There's some onions still growing. Wow. And then of course we had all the melons over here. They're all gone, of course. All the potatoes were down there. I can't believe we got onions out there gone. It's crazy. Huh. Over here was the cucumbers and tomatoes. You can still see the sticks that we had here. We had about a quarter of an acre. It goes all the way over to the tree line here. Started from way down over here, went all the way up into the tree line to the woods. This was once all woods. And I had an excavator come up here and clear all this away. So we could have a garden up here. And we got some stuff thrown right here. And I don't even know what that is. It looks like it might be, no, it's not deal. Huh. I don't know what that is. I guess somewhere down here. What is this cabbage? It looks like cabbage. I don't know what that is. I think it's cool. Of course all the tomato plants are dead. I have trails all up in the woods up in here. Maybe I'll take you guys for a tour someday. Because there's, there's many, many trails. Some of my neighbor friends, they ride the dirt bikes, motorbikes in there, ATVs, whatever. But it goes over the mountain. And so now, we're going to go over here. There's my blackberry patch. It goes all the way from here, all the way over, to over there. And of course, all the fig trees, we get figs. Got my smoker down there. Get the clothing line for laundry. Well, these are all apple trees and pear trees. And then all the blueberries. And I mean a lot of blueberries. Thousands and thousands of blueberries. I need to come up here and get some of this green moss. So, I'm going to shoot a video while I'm talking to you guys about Mr. Henry Ford. I got a coconut right here that we're going to uh, cut it open. It's a burger of a job, but we'll get it done. It's a gorgeous day out today, it really is. About 74 degrees, something like that. All right, so uh, let's get the chopping on this booger and get it done and we'll talk about Mr. Ford. All right guys, it's a glorious day today. It's absolutely stunning out here. It's gorgeous, beautiful day. So I wanna come out here on this beautiful day and share a story with you about Mr. Henry Ford. Um, he was one of the hardest working men, he was born in the 1800s. 1913 he created his first factory job and uh he was he was something else he was a workaholic um he created the passion for cars one of the first pioneers out there um and we'll talk about that a little bit while we're cracking open this coconut here 
Got some fresh coconuts from Florida, a good friend of mine. Brought us these coconuts and said, here you go, good luck opening it. So I was trying to figure out what kind of tool we're gonna use to open this bad boy up. And uh, how about a machete? So as we're talking, sharing stories about Mr. Ford, we're gonna crack open a coconut. So what Mr. Henry Ford did was, he came out with the first trucks, the T models, in, 19, in the 1920s, 1915s in that world. And I'm sure there's a bunch of you guys are gonna correct me on the dates on that, because I don't know, I don't remember exactly the dates on it, but somewhere in that world. And uh, <clears throat> boy, did he sell a lot of them. I mean, he sold a lot of them. But he was brutal in his factories. I mean, brutal. Some men lost their manhood. They had worked so hard, they were so tired when they get home, they didn't want to do anything else. They were just exhausted from the work because they would work long hours. He would even hire um, professional fighters to intimidate the employees, to walk around and if they were slacking or um, getting tired or slowing down, they would intimidate them. That was terrible. Now, I have never cracked open, no, one time. One time I cracked open a coconut. And uh, it looked easy, but it's not. It's not easy. But see, we gotta layer this thing down, man. So you can see how much work this is gonna take. So Mr. Ford, he married, had a kid named Etzel Ford, a young boy, and to pay his bills, he took jobs in other factories as mechanics. But as a young boy, he had a natural gift to, uh, to take things apart and put it back together. Most kids couldn't put it back together. Take it apart, but they couldn't put it back together. But Mr. Henry Ford could do that. He was awesome. Truly a gifted man. Um, so in the factories, he came out with cars and he would sell them. And as he would sell them, he grew and grew and grew. And as he came out with a T-model truck, there was nothing like it. They wanted something they could drive in the woods, haul lumber around, build things with, and Henry Ford produced that. And it sold awesome. But after about 10 years, 15, 20 years, it just got old. And his son was trying to tell him, we need to change it up a little bit. We need to mix it up a little bit. But Henry wouldn't listen. He, he did it the old way. And that was old school. But after a while, GMC came out and made something that was newer, better looking. And he was forced to improve. Shut the factory down though. Send everybody home, no jobs. Yeah, you can tell guys, this is gonna take a while. Big old chunks. Well, so I can't turn a three hour documentary into 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or even an hour for a minute. I just, it would take too much time. So I'll just give you some highlights. Henry Ford wanted to try to make his son tough because the son was very likable, very easygoing, but brilliant as well in his own way. Brilliant. But Henry wanted him to be fierce and strong and tough. That wasn't Etzel. His son was not that way. He just wasn't built that way. So Henry would try to start fights and arguments all the time with him to try to get him to fight back to get tougher. He just wouldn't, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't, he wouldn't give in to that. So then, Henry Ford, the man that he was, the genius that he was. Now, I don't want to go back too far, but when he first got married, he took a machine, an actual motor, built it, and while his wife was cooking Christmas dinner, a turkey dinner, he grabs this board, smaller than a spit table, with an engine on it, takes it into the kitchen, sets it on the, on the kitchen sink, 
and tells his wife to pour gasoline on the motor to get the engine to get it running. And he did it as she was cooking Christmas dinner. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but my, my wife wouldn't hear of it. She wouldn't put up with it. But anyway, so he makes all these cars. Well, his son, tragedy happened. His son got sick, had all kinds of health issues, man. And I mean a lot. He unfortunately died, passed. Well, that messed Henry up pretty good. That was his only kid. And uh, so there was a lot of bickering between the families. Um, at one point in time, Henry bought out all the shares so he could re-control re the factory because before he couldn't control it. He had too many people involved. He bought out everybody so he could have his way with everything way back in the day, in the 1930s. And he kept improving, improving. The man was aging. He had to have somebody take over the business. So he had one of his family members. I don't know if it was a son-in-law or a nephew or who it was, because I don't remember. But his wife even told him, Henry's Ford's wife told him, step down, time to retire. And so he did. So, me doing builds on my channel is not really paying homage to somebody like Henry Ford, of course not, but um, the creativity, the drive, the ambition. I enjoy tinkering with cars and trucks, um, boats, whatever, um, engines in general. But I tell you, <clears throat> when he died, he took it with him. <clears throat> well, that's a quick way to get milk out of there. I just cracked all the way to the core. Look at that, guys. There's the core to the coconut right there. So anyway, when I do a build, when I get a project, you know, we don't have the we don't have the work ethic like we used to have, guys. We just don't have it. The kids these days don't have it. Kids are used to looking at their parents and parents giving them whatever they want. The kids don't want to get out there and work. You know, my dad used to tell me, if you want it, you gotta earn it, boy. That's exactly how he'd say it. You know, I want a new pair of shoes. You want it, you got to get up there and earn it. Boy, I ain't going to just give it to you. When I wanted my first car, you know, most of these parents these days go out there and buy their kids a four or $5,000 car. I got a car, I think it was 100 bucks from a junkyard. We got it running. Didn't have no seats in it. No glass in the car. But I learned to drive in it. These kids these days, their parents just give it to them. And they don't appreciate it. They go ahead and tear it up. They don't work. Henry Ford was not that person. He worked and he worked and he worked. He worked his tail off. And so when I get a project, I do everything I can possibly to make sure that it's done right. And we do hours upon hours of research. And so that's what this channel is about, is trying to get content for you guys so you guys can share the journey with us, be there with us through this whole process, and enjoy it. And somehow, some way, methodically, learn something. But it's really expensive getting these builds. From time to time, you may not have a build that you want and you gotta create content. That's why some channels suffer because of the expense. And some of these channels, they have so much money because they've grown for so many years and they've earned it. They've earned it. But they have the money to buy whatever they need to get builds out there and content. And in the market the way it is with this COVID, inventory is shy. Parts are hard to get. It's a tough market to get builds. But I'm looking and I'm trying. And I got a surprise. I'm hoping it works its way through to where I can actually do some content on it. Regardless, I will find something to do content on, guys. But I just want to share the story with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to us. And ring the bell for the next video. I really appreciate it, guys. Have a great day.